Grocery prices are up, but people in Roanoke have another cause to consider, the plastic bag tax. It has now been, believe it or not, a year since it was put in place. 10 News reporter Sydney Jacksheimer working for you. She is live tonight to find out how much tax revenue has been made and how the money is being spent. Sydney? Yeah, well, John, Rachel, city leaders say the plastic bag tax brought in more revenue with, than they were actually expecting, which typically you would think more money is a good thing. But this tax was meant to change people's behavior and deter them from using plastic. But some people say they just can't quit the habit. I like the convenience of a plastic bag. It does cross my mind, but then I'm just like, oh, it's five cents. During the first 12 months of the plastic bag tax, the city of Roanoke collected over $180,000, which is about 6 million plastic bags purchased. The city's sustainability outreach coordinator, Leanne Weitzenfeld, says she's disappointed the tax isn't deterring as many people from plastic as officials had hoped. Hopefully that will go down. This year, for every five cents made off of a plastic bag, the city will receive four cents and the stores will receive one cent. Last year, the city received three cents and the stores got two cents per bag. So what happens with the money the city earns? There are three things that we can spend it on. Environmental cleanup, um, environmental programs, um, education, outreach, engagement, um, and then buying uh, reusable bags for our SNAP and WIC recipients. Although officials say the goal of the plastic bag tax was never to make a profit. The hope is to change people's behaviors for the sake of the city's health in your own. We're making a decision um, whether you know we're taking our bags or not. Um, humanity is paying a price for that convenience. It's getting to a point where we need to pay attention and we need to alter our behavior to protect human health, to protect our families. A budget for last year's revenue and the future revenues is in the works of being planned on how the money will be spent. City leaders hope to get that plan to city council for approval this spring. Live in Roanoke tonight, I'm Sydney Jacks, Timer 10 News, working for you.